Hey crafters, it's Julie Greek with Creek Bank Creations. I'm here today to share with you some information about the crosshair die. We've had questions about this from our customers, so today I want to talk to you about the die and we'll go over some basics. So um, this is a three die set and it's just a fun little card to give to your hunter or person that likes guns in your family. So um, the uh, die is, the stamp is actually made to match the card set. And um, you've got shoot, you're the best on there. Some days you have to reload. So it's a fun card that you can make for a hunter, but you can actually also use it for a graduate because as you see on there, I have the words, you're right on target. So that's just a fun twist on it. So it's a fun card. Let me show you how to make the card. So what you want to do is get a piece of paper for your base and you want to cut that paper four and a half by eight and a half, which is what I have here. And I'm folding at four and a quarter. So I pre-scored that. Now this is a three die set. So we have the circle die, we have the crosshair die, and we have the bullet die. You want to take that circle and you want to lay that on your paper. And you want the circle to just come off the edge at the top. You see that, Tom? And then we're going to die cut. And that's going to give us the card so that it folds at the top. So I'm cutting today with uh, my Vagabond machine and I do have the new precision plate on there, that chrome plate, and that just gives you nice, really good, crisp, clean cutting. And as you can see, it means I only have to have one clear plate. Now there's my card and you'll see it's gonna hinge open at the top. Okay, now what you wanna do is take your card and fold it in half, and I'm folding into the fold at the top, and I'm gonna fold it in half. That's going to give me the card. It's gonna turn that card into a stand-up card, okay, which is what we have here, okay? So now, what we need is to put that bullet on our card. So I have cut the bullets ahead of time, I cut three bullets and you'll notice I've got my um, cut those and I have my super tacky tape on the back. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the first bullet and pull the tape off the back and we're going to layer the bullets up one on top of the other so we're going to get that wet with undo. That's going to suspend adhesion. As long as that's wet, I'm going to have time to manipulate that and I'll be able to move that around and get that to sit exactly where I want it. Now I want to do another one. So I'm going to get that wet. And you don't have to um, have a ton of undo on there. But you do want to get it wet. And I'm going to be able to stack that up. And what we're doing is just building up a nice dimensional piece for our bullet. Now, in this case, in my card here... I added the text on there, so you'd want to stamp your text on there. And um, before you put your bullet on. So when you uh, look at our super tacky tape, it comes on a roll like that. So you put that on the back of your paper and then you die cut. So I'm going to peel this off and I'm going to stick that right in the middle of the card. And you want to give yourself room for that sentiment or whatever you want to put on your card. And if you want it to stand up tighter, we're going to move it up a little bit. Okay, there's your stand-up card. Your bullet's holding it open, and then if you want to close it, you can close it. So what we need to do is cut that face for the card. So you're going to take your circle, and you're going to cut another white piece that's going to be your background. And then you want to cut the crosshair die piece. And in this case, I've cut it on black paper, and I have my super tacky tape on the back. So what we're going to do is adhere the black crosshair piece to the white. Now, if you want to make a card like I did here, where I added the deer in the background, the landscape background, those are also dies that we offer. You want to do that before you adhere the crosshair down. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and put it down so I can show you how to construct the card. So we're going to take that white piece and we're going to get it wet with undo. And that's going to suspend adhesion so that we have time to manipulate this and get it where we want. I'm gonna peel the relief liner off from our super tacky tape. And we're gonna place that on our circle. And you will see how I have time to manipulate that 
and move it around because I have undo. Now undo suspends adhesion. As long as that's wet, I can move it around and then when it's dry, I have permanent adhesion. Okay, now what we need to do is adhere that to the front panel of our card. And for that, I'm going to use Creek Bank Creation Super Tacky Tape and I'm gonna use the quarter inch tape. And all I wanna do is put adhesive on the bottom. We're gonna pick off our adhesive. <laughs> Try this in. There we go. So I'm using the uh, Sizzix Pick Tool. It's actually a dry dye ejection tool. Works really good at removing that tape liner for us. Now, we want to set that card right on there. So we're just gonna get that a little wet. And then I'm going to be able to set that exactly where I want it. And now I have a card that's flat. And when it stands up, I have the stand up helper card. So that is how to use the shooter die. You need Creek Bank Creation Super Tacky Tape and some undo, and you have an awesome thing to give to the hunter in your life. Thanks for stopping in today. You can find these products on our website at www.creekbankcreations.com.